It's the gag or the radio show. I'm joined in studio now by two gentlemen. Your rising star, I should say. That's Maybe. It. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. We got two up. rising stars here in the studio with me. Um, one of whom is Nick. And last song. Let's, see, that's not even. Yeah, you're, you're on. I'm on. I'm you're, on. You're, you're yeah, loud. Last song. Last song. Everybody knows Nick. They know me, so I'll sit back. Oh, I'll we're going to get to you because we want to know how to tell if your toilet's haunted. Uh, we're going to talk <laughs> to you in a bit. Let's song. Is it on or om? On. O N. It's like less on. All right, sweet. Yeah. So, what kind of music do you do? I do uh, hip hop music, but all around, you know. I'm, I call, I say, I have my own genre, you know what I mean? Because it's a mixture of everything. Because I listen to everything. Cool. Are you from Boston originally? No, I'm from Chicago. I mean, everything is energetic about him. Yeah. Ask him, ask him anything. He's gonna be up here. <laughs> yeah, like, no, not, not like let's grab the pen. It's gonna be like let's get the pen. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Turn That's up. what he does. That's <laughs> no, That's I, what I, I love I about feel, this. I can run laps around the building and oh, come back. Do probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could do that. <laughs> and the steel toes. Yes, I probably. That's could. probably why. Uh, you're gonna do now is we're gonna cut to a break. When we come back, we still have Lasan in the studio chill, chill, chill. and uh, Nick in the studio. We're gonna get into yeah. some. Some things with Nick. Uh, we're probably going to ask him off air uh, about uh, whether or not he I can't wait. Ghost. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, <laughs> we're the network. 857-366-5444 is the number. 857-445-0424 is the text line. So you can text us your questions for both Nick and Lasson. Um We had a really good segment with you and then off air yeah, stuff yeah. that we can't say because we don't like bullets. I'm seriously allergic. Right. All right. <laughs> Nick. Um, What's up, man? All right, so aside from the fact that you do music, yep. um, and you told me that you were doing it since you were 14 and stuff. Yeah. Yep. What attracted you to the song? Just, it was the connection, you know. We, Danny and I were working together. Danny Bedrosian plays with Parliament Funk, George Clinton, and him and I have been longtime friends since we were a child. So, you know, we saw the song on YouTube. I've been searching out. I wanted to dive into the music because it's just that passion behind it, and I discovered the song on YouTube. Go figure. Yeah. We connected. His buddy, uh, Harvey, you know, hit me up on uh, some emails and stuff and, and kept emailing me, emailing me. He's like, you got to check him out. You got to check him out. When you get inundated, you're like, I've got to check this I got to check it out. <laughs> so, you know what? I love the passion, the drive about people who really give an effort in that. So I did yeah. check him out. And I'm like, there's something about him. I really like him. You know, it, it's, his videos were cool and stuff. Underground. He's coming up. And, um, and I got on the phone with him, started talking to him. And... You know there's that connection, and it just feels right in your gut when you meet somebody and you talk with them and you cross paths in life. And I just felt that with him. And I said, you know what? Let me fly you out, and basically I'll, I'll just bring you to my house. Forget, like, all the boundaries and stuff. Let's get together. I want to see what you're about. And then from there, we hit it off, and we talked for a long time. We produced our first album t uh, together with Danny called Drinks On Me, first EP one. And uh, from there, we've just been going up and up and up and up. And yeah. now we're working on a second album with a huge, huge producer that we're really excited about that I just locked down yesterday, actually, because now distributors are coming at us and stuff on, on major labels. So this is what I love. Independent. We're doing it ourselves. Yeah. We have a passion. We're real. No BS. And, uh, you know, you're looking at a huge artist that's going to be one of a, a major artist in this, in this world eventually. Cool. A question for you. Right. Um, how did you feel? I mean, did you ever see the show, the ghost show? Uh, I did through Javi, my boy, my, my business partner, Javi G. Shouts out to Javi G. My before that? Hey, before oh, before he that? Went, not really. You know not what I'm really? saying? Not really. Nah. Because I'm thinking, like, what if one day you get a call and it's just like, this is Nick. Nick who? Nick Groff. Okay. No, wait, hold on. Isn't that the ghost dude? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and just, like, just to see his face and kind of go like, is this for real? Like, the the, the ghost guys? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah they, it, it it's, was. It's, yeah, no, it's weird. You know, you, you think, everyone thinks, okay, Nick Roth, that's all he does. Yeah. He's a paranormal investigator, that's it. But, you know, when you really look at my life and stuff, my upbringing, I have music. I, a lot of people don't know I'm a huge fanatic about movies. I'm a Huge fan about movies, and then uh, you know, paranormal has always been on my mind since I was a little kid. I almost died when I was eight. Fell, I was a hyperactive kid. Fell off a tree, ripped open my whole arm right here. So and that's um, fun. Uh, my mom saved my life, and right. it was a huge experience. Maybe that led me into the paranormal. I don't know, but you know, it's just one of those things that it just fascinated me personally, and I wanted to see if ghosts exist. So that's how I got my start. I called up two of my buddies, Aaron and Zach. Said, "You guys want to go out and see if ghosts exist?" We went out for a year filming. We didn't get much. And then we hit 
this place called the Washoe Club in Virginia State, Nevada, and we captured amazing footage that blew my mind away. And that drove us to keep searching, pushing, and we made a documentary, which aired Sci-Fi Channel, and then it moved to Travel Channel. I mean, we were looking at Mayan temples. Yeah, I'm we were good. looking at like because I don't want to step on something and have Yo, a booby trap. At the Mayan temples. We wanted to go to Mayan temples. Yeah, See, so wait, hold on. call hold on. me. His half knots track that he wrote. Yeah. You know, he wrote that from the soul. And when we first got together, and he showed it to me. I can feel that emotion with uh, yeah. Lasson because, you know, he says he, at, when you first played it back, he had like that tear that he has yeah. to hold back and stuff for him because it was such an emotional song. Yeah. Uh, so I, I totally get it. People do connect on those levels when they're emotionally, you know, music is a huge yeah. impact yeah. for anything that you put it on to people and it can have that connection. So I could see that. Back when I first made the song, I used to just, you know, it was a stressful moment for me. You know what I'm saying? I was just having my first child. And I had nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I used to sit back at late at night, turn my music on. When that song came on, man, I started crying like a baby, man, straight up, because I just couldn't help it. But, but that's it felt real, good, though. though. Yeah, it, it felt good, man. It felt good to release that, you know, that stress and that that energy up out of you. You know, when you cry sometimes, it's like... <sighs> hey, you know, yeah, you try, <laughs> <laughs> you try Ooh, to go man to sleep up. now, man. Yeah, sure. no, I, I know how you feel. You know I mean? Music that's a positive message, positive. With, which is like deep in his soul, and it's like a therapy. You get it out there, and you exploit it, and you you know you feel better. You're like, here it is. You feel like you're doing something good self consciously. I'm telling you, like, the, just be creative. Stay where you're at right, because right. you're you're hanging out with good people. Like exactly. he has a good heart. He actually saw you and decided, you yeah, know, what, yeah. I'm going to take this young man and make something of him because he has a positive message. Just brought me straight to the crib. I'm from. Chicago, here, yeah, you know you're on mean? a plane, like. I don't but know. he saw the music, though. He saw the videos. You know, he saw the passion within me. So it was, it wasn't kind of, it wasn't a big risk, and he felt the energy. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what that was was shocking to me. I'm like, we were trying to figure out the hotel or whatever. He's like, you know what? They just come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> just stay in my house. Man. Oh, yeah, got plenty of room. I'm like awesome. word. I'm like shocked. I'm like, oh, yo, he want me to go to his house, y'all. What? You should. I would have been worried, but I'm like maybe it's a haunting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, so we gotta wrap up so you guys can head out. Let yeah. everybody know where they can hear your music. Man, lessonofficial.com. Tweet me at lessonscg. My YouTube that is scg south, and it comes up as lessonofficial. And shouts out to Javi G, man. That's my partner, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the Joneses. Shouts out to Nick Graw for holding me down. <laughs> NGE Entertainment, we in the building. And if you want to find me on the world of the internet, just Google my name. <laughs> right, there you go. N-I-C-K-G-R-O-F-F. -F. All Nick right. Rowe. Right out. So with that being said, Gang. Gang. the radio is going to be back.